Okay, I think we're nearly coming to the end of the interview, but um, as you, as a very successful entrepreneurial female, what do you suggest? Well, what is your definition of success and what drives you and what is your why and what are your success habits? Well, um, okay, so what's my why? My why has changed. My why throughout my whole life has always been freedom. Mm -hmm. That's just been my overarching theme. Um, so that's freedom to, to travel, freedom from being stuck financially, right? Um, and then now, you know, I have a teenager in my life. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's freedom to, to buy, you know, whatever is the latest hobby, you know, at the moment we're into crochet. So it's, okay. I think that's a good think my child is just, my, my, I've, I've just spent $150 on, on wool for the child to, to crochet themselves a blanket that I could buy at Kmart for <laughs> 25 bucks. Right. So, <laughs> but, but that's, you know, but, but I, I've put myself in a freedom in a position of freedom that I'm able to do that. Yes. Okay, so with freedom from strug from financial struggle. Yeah. Um and, and freedom from having to answer to somebody. So so, so that that's that's my why and that's always been my why. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it changes a little bit. Um what was the the other half of your question? What are your success habits? And then my actual my success habits advice. Oh, okay. My success habit here's the here's the secret to my success. I'm lazy. And <laughs> And because I'm lazy, I always look for the fastest way to do something. Yeah. And so I I am one of those people that I'll take shortcuts. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, I'll I'll do things that are not perfect. Um, because you know, speed, you know, one of the, the things I love is money loves speed. Right. So so I tend to move fast. And I think that's that's really been What's driven me is I am able to move fast. I, I don't get stuck in the minutia mm -hmm. and overanalyze. Mm -hmm. And I know, like some people get, you know, um, paralysis by analysis. They they get overanalyzed, and, and I'm I I move fast and I fail fast. Okay, because the faster you move, the faster you fail. The faster you can you can, you can go to the next thing and learn from your failures. Yeah. Okay. So for me, I think that's really been the se the secret. Uh, is is that I'm lazy. I'm like lazy that. because I don't want to. I don't want to spend too much time. I move fast uh, so that I can get there quicker, uh, so that I don't have to work so hard. Okay, <laughs> I find the shortcuts. <laughs> I like that. I like that. So there isn't any like success habits of like five a.m. getting up in the morning, do your oh god no station. You no, no. you journaling. Oh look, <laughs> no look, I'm no. And, and look, and I know those things work for some, and I go through phases where I've tried that, and you know what works for me? I actually do generally get up early, mm -hmm. um, and I go to sleep early, because um, that just works works for me. I do read. I read a lot. I listen to a lot of podcasts. I um, participate in a lot of personal development and have over the years. You know, I'm constantly looking for ways to grow. But I don't have like a stringent right from six till seven. I do this, and you know, they did it, did it, did it. I don't do that. Yeah. Okay. And I say it's that freedom. Freedom. Yeah, exactly. It goes back to my freedom. freedom. You know, right? Yeah. It's it's like this week the weather is good, so I actually block off time in my calendar to go to the beach because I love um, swimming in the ocean. Okay. Oh, so yes. while while I'm driving, you know, I'm listening to 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 stuff. I'm thinking about stuff. Um, and, you know, I'm feeding my brain uh, and, you know, I take care of, you know, I've recently changed my eating habits drastically. I've cut out all sugars, all carbohydrates, and it's amazing, like, your, your brain functions differently. So I would encourage people to, you know, look at that and see if maybe that's something that you want, want to consider. You'd be amazed the difference it makes to, to how your brain functions. Um I was so, so about that, that today, actually. Diary of a CEO podcast. There was interview. Yes, I love that guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I listened to I listened to him. Yeah, um, in podcast out this week about that. Yeah, that, that's yeah. a great podcast. I, I've only recently discovered him, but I've been listening mm. to some of his stuff. Mm. Um, but you know, I, I don't want to go down that route too much. But but just you know, take take a look at, at what the food that you're putting in your body is doing to your brain. Mm. Okay, because it's not just about your body. You know, your brain is a big part of 
you, uh, our, you know, who we are and what we feed our body, we're actually feeding our brain. So if you're eating your body junk, um, then we're feeding our brain junk and, you know, junk in, junk out. Yeah. So, so take a look at, at, at that, you know, sleep, you know, I'm a real proponent of getting a, enough sleep. Um, yeah, taking care of my body. I'm a, my, my sin is I drink too much of the, the coffee, which I'm working on, on cutting down. Um, so three cups of coffee I heard is very good for you. Well, okay. yeah. Look, it's. <laughs> I'm sticking to that. I, I have, I have been. Uh, I'm now making every second cup a decaf, so I'm, I'm sort of yeah. weaning myself off of the decaf. I know when I had um, uh, when I had COVID uh, last year, it really knocked me out for for like the first two days, and then day three, I had like this really bad headache. And and I thought, oh my god! And I started taking drugs for the for the headache. I was you know feeling better. Uh, I was able to sort of get up and around. The fever was gone, and and it took me a couple of hours to realise the reason I had the headache was because I'd been so sick for two days. I'd forgotten to drink coffee, and so the power of them. To- <laughs> so it was actually it was not the COVID that was giving me the headache. It was my caffeine withdrawal. <laughs> so how many cup- cups of coffee did you then drink? Oh, so I had a couple of coffees and I was fine. <laughs> fine. Um, so uh, yeah, so 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 yeah, in terms of my habits, no. Look, I, I do get up. I have I have my coffee. I read, and I read across all different genres. Uh, I, I read not just business. In fact, I'm reading less business, more personal development. In the last you know year or so, it's been on the health side, but also you know I do work around you know self hypnosis and a lot of you know beingness. Stuff. I'm a real proponent of. Um, you've got to be before you can do, before you can have. Um, you have my business coach talks to me about that all of the time. Yeah. So you got a bit of book recommendation on that at all? Oh God. Um, there are so many. Uh, I'm a fan of you know if you're looking for podcast recommendations, Jim Fortin. Okay. Is um uh is um, I can't remember what his pod- podcast is called, but but he's on he's everywhere. So look up Jim Horton. Uh, I'm a student of his and have been for almost uh, a year. Um, and you know you don't have to pay. He's got free content on uh, a podcast. You know I've paid because I love it. Uh, but you don't have to. Um, so so there's plenty of free content around getting your getting your your mindset. And your identity, you know, how do you identify yourself? You know, do you identify yourself as a successful entrepreneur? Because until you can own that identity, nobody else will see that. And then it's interesting how the world conspires for you to live out your identity. Okay, we, we're getting a little bit woo-woo here. Yeah, uh, but I actually, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I am very much uh, into, you know, we, we, I, th- I think we speak into being, Um the things that, that we believe, you know, and so so be careful, you know, be careful of your words. How do you speak about yourself to other people? What what do you say about yourself? You know, if something happens, you say, oh, oh, you know, I'm so stupid. All right, do you say that to yourself? And if you do, then somewhere internally you're going to believe it, and the universe is going to believe it. So just be careful of what you say to yourself. Mm-hmm. And if you catch yourself saying something negative, switch it and swap it around. I'm definitely going to listen to that podcast. I am very much interested in that more spiritual side of mind, you know, being being a mind. But I also talk to my children about it as well. So, yeah. oh, ab- ab- absolutely. You know, I'm 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 constantly talking to my child about you know self fulfilling prophecy because yes, kind of what, what 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 we talk about and how we um, address ourselves can become you know if you expect negative, you know, our, our brain has got this. And I can't remember what's the reticular something system. Yeah, I can never remember. Yeah, what it is. You know, you know, the one I'm talking about, yeah. you know, what we expect to see and what is what our brain looks for. Yeah. Right? Our brain looks for. And so if you expect to see it, that's what we actually see. And it's not because the world is bad. It's because we expect to see the world as bad. And mm-hmm. so our brain, you know, we, we've told our brain, okay, only look for the bad things. So, you know, you've got to work on that self-talk and, and your expectations. You know, I have um, a poster on my wall and look at it and it's you know it's hokey but i got it hey tell me what is that was <laughs> and, and i made it and it says i am a money magnet everything i touch turns to gold oh i like and that, that. that and that that's my mantra i am a money magnet 
And when I first put it up on the wall and I started saying to myself, it's like, you know, it doesn't feel right, you know, but but every time I walk past my door, I see it, it's there, and it's just come in, come in, come in, come in. And you know what? I am a money magnet, and everything I touch does turn to gold, right? So I love it, guys. Let me go on my wall now. <laughs> Oh, Regina, thank you so, so much for your time. It has been absolutely wonderful.